Yeah, YouTubers, Tasman here, bringing you another episode of Regrowth. And uh, where we're bringing this cold, dead, desolate world back to life one block at a time. And you'll notice I'm in creative. That's because we're not in our real world. We're in my test world or the copy of the real world. Actually, it hasn't been copied for a long time. I think we have some more machines. We have these guys replaced. And those guys are actually straight. So I was uh, looking into automation of the uh, of the. Oh, those things are so noisy. They're going underground pretty far, just uh, so we don't have to listen to them. Um, but anyway, I was looking into automation with the bio bio generators. Is that what they were called? I can't remember. Hold on just a second. I'm going to pull up Sky's comments because he was the one that recommended it. Because I did have some extra questions and maybe you guys might know the answer. So uh, let me just pull this up real quick. Do, 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 do. Community. And oops, there we go. Show. Is it this one? So first off, I did see Sky's previous comment. He didn't know that I saw it because I didn't comment on it. But uh, in our our room downstairs, he says that the the wither can uh, destroy obsidian. So he says, do not do the fight there. So yeah, definitely good. I actually I don't think it's in this world because well. I've done a lot since that, but uh, I've I finished up that room and I've replaced everything, even the clay with obsidian. I just used uh, different colors of obsidian and stuff. So now in this, uh, so we have a total of five of these little guys right here. He mentioned uh, that we upgraded our thing. I think we did upgrade it to a crushing factory. So what we see here, we could actually do with the exception of the ultimate energy cube. Uh, we could do pretty easy, uh, minus the auto assembler. I don't think we have that, but it didn't look like it was too hard. A-U-T-O, auto assembler. So yeah, it's not hard at all. So we could even do that pretty quick. So what I've got going here is, um, I have my chest. Now, one downside, of this is that we would want to have like a hopper here and then a hopper going into it and then a hopper uh, then the chest above it because this if I'm right is not going to actually uh, do more than half the chest and we can verify that right here it only gets the, the chest part that is above it so we do this and then, uh, oh well, I guess we have to wait there. Maybe grab out some of these and let it fill back up. <laughs> you know, I really don't have to throw them, I can just delete them. So, anyway, um, if we do this, you'll see that the chest is. Oh, actually, it is. Okay, good. That's actually good news because lots of other things don't actually consider a double chest a double chest. And a hopper, I think, is a good example of that, where if you have a hopper, it's not going to empty the full chest. I mean, that, maybe they've changed that, I don't know. So anyway, if we have something like this, uh, we can have something putting the pumpkins into a chest, then this guy will take it, turn it into seeds, and then this guy will take the seeds and turn them into uh, the bio stuff. And then that will push it to these guys and they will output their power to our system. Now, one problem you definitely can tell is it is noisy, very, very noisy. These guys, if we look at, is it the upgrades or something? Is it this guy? Upgrades. So I've got on this guy, you can see I put full uh, four speeds on there to speed it up, and or that's the muffler, and eight speeds. So this guy, I don't think he's making a noise. I think it's these guys, or I don't think it's that guy, but holy cow, they are noisy. And I don't see 
anywhere that I can actually put up crates in these guys to quiet them down. So it looks like it has the standard rule of around 16 blocks away, you can't hear it. So then the second part of Sky's thing was this is perfectly fine. We can automate that no problem at all. The problem I'm having is he mentions, uh, let me go look at my comments real quick. So something about a drum of the wild, a redstone mana thingamajabi. <laughs> I can't remember. Let me see if I find it. A redstone mana spreader and a golden hourglass. Although then he said, let's just try hourglass. H-O-U-R. So here's the hourglass, the hovering hourglass magic. So it's probably this one. Once again, not too terribly hard uh, to do. Um, but then I think it was, and maybe I'm just not looking up the right thing, but the redstone mana spreader, I can't find. So if we go in here, I do not see, and maybe I'm blind. Maybe you guys can see it and you can tell me in the comments. Uh, let's even try mana, in case it's not called that. So we have the, the Gia mana spreader and the Elven mana spreader. And we should have our, is there one there? Pulse mana spreader and our mana spreader, mana star. Mana distributor, mana detector. I don't. Mana flux field. I don't see anything that actually seems like it is a redstone mana spreader. And an apiary booster. Mana bean. So I'm not sure. And maybe, maybe he didn't know what uh, it was actually called. So I'm going to read the comment real quick. Um, this is the previous one, not the, the big one that he did say. But he did say that he can't remember the name of the hourglass. But it's, uh, let's see, he says it's something like golden or magic. Was there a golden or magic one? H-O-U-R, hourglass. Hovering magic. Maybe that's the one he's talking about. I don't get it. Either it doesn't have a recipe. Wait, let's do this. So maybe we have to... See, I think this is the one I've done before. The Batania. Oh, this must be the one because he didn't say it was an Automagi. Automagi? All right, well, anyway, I'm going to read the comments. So it's, this is uh, his previous one. Uh, it says, most plant matter crushes in the biofuel. Pumpkins make four. Pumpkins converted into seeds make a total of eight. If you convert your crusher into a factory, which we did, I think. I can't remember. And then up, wait, crush her into a factory and then upgrade it. You should be able to make a ton of biofuel easily. Further, with the application of some Batania stuff, so that's why I'm thinking it's probably this guy because it's Batania. So the hovering hourglass, once again, doesn't look that hard to make. Um, a drum of the wild, which we had over there. A redstone mana spreader, which I can't find a golden hourglass and a hopper hopperhawk flower as well as chess pipes and an auto crafter which we have the auto assembler uh, I did do the auto crafter it is slower and I think he did mention in his other comment that he can't remember if it's the auto crafter or assembler but the auto assembler is kind of infamous I believe for crashing systems I haven't seen I hasn't crashed my system yet so maybe I just have enough juice in it uh, but uh, that's probably the way we'll end up going because it is faster. The Auto Crafter has a little bar and it. it's a little faster than, say, uh, watching the smelter uh, or the furnace cook, but uh, not a lot. So let's see. Then he says uh, the Hot Rock Flower as well as chest pipes and Auto Crafter. You can harvest pumpkins, craft them into seeds, send them into the crusher, make them into biofuel. You're crafting your metallurgic infuser. You are crafting with your metallurgic. Oh, this is the one we talked about last week too, where we should uh, use the enrichment chamber to make compressed diamond. Um, that was considerably better. So that was an excellent uh, suggestion, Sky. Uh, it says this will provide, you can also do it with redstone coal. So, 
I guess one, I don't, he says that this works off of mana. So, or was it mana? In the, in this other one, he says, all right, the basic Batania method of harvesting I mentioned is completely automated. You see the drum of the wild is like an emplaced version of the horn of the wild. And that's the one I have, right? When you activate it, it harvests all the plants inside a range. I'm not sure if it can be activated automatically by redstone. We could try that. If not, it does activate by means of a pulse of mana hitting it. So there's that. I don't think, does my sword actually shoot mana? Like if I swung my sword at it, would it cause it to trigger? I wonder. Because let's, let's check this real quick and see if uh, we can get it to thump with uh, redstone. Ah, da, 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 da. Oh, let's do stone for now. So, will this thump? I guess I didn't need all that other stuff. I was going to make a timer. Doesn't look like it. So the next question, when I use my little sword of whatchamacallit, does that actually shoot a mana burst? Now, where is my sword of whatchamacallit? Right here. Uh, da, 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 this guy. Okay. So let's see if that counts as a mana. Oh, it did. So then what the, what happens here is, and this is our next test, I didn't have a chance to do it, but now what should happen is the hopper hawk should take it and generally what it'll try and do is it places, if there's a chest on the east, it'll try and put it there, then it'll try the west, then the, uh, is it south or north? Then it'll do south and north, then it does upper and below. So this should, yep, yeah, there we go, there's our pumpkin. So you can see it got 39, that's pretty good. Now we can upgrade this and there's even a floaty version and maybe that's the one you can upgrade where it will actually um, You'll be able to expand it further This guy I believe will only do this range that's one all the way around it Like if we were to uh, let's see grab One of these I don't think do I have my hoe on me? Yo ho yo ho a pirate's life for me uh, let's just do it. M A T T. Is it Matox? Yes. And just grab any one of them. Go ahead and. Oop. So I think the base version of the Hopper Hawk, or whatever it's called, will only do uh, one block. Now I don't know what the range on this guy is. Clearly, it seemed to break everything here so that was definitely good but let's go ahead and try and put maybe one like right here and one the furthest away from that as we can and then uh, let's do I do I still have no I don't have any pumpkins and I don't have craft table on me I should go grab one real quick Whoop, right there and I just got rid of my pumpkin seeds didn't I actually I don't know what I got rid of I got rid of something this is in my inventory. Uh, there's my pumpkin. So we put one there, one there, and then we need some bone mill. So now if we do this again, so it did even grab those. And it kind of seemed like, I don't know if, if it grabbed this pumpkin because it landed over here. I mean, what we should do is just see how far this guy will grab. So like right there, it grabbed it. So that's good. And I know there's some kind of glasses you can use to tell the range and stuff. Okay, I'm assuming that worked. I didn't see the poof of smoke. Uh, so let's try there. Oof. There. 
Oof, wow, this guy has a lot better range. So I guess then my question would be is what is the range of the drum? So we were able to go out at least one, two, three. So one, two, three. If we went out here, uh, which one do I care about? Hey, it actually did the tilt stuff. Oh, dude, it totally got it. Now let's see if that, oh, and it did too. So this, this part seems like a good setup other than how do we hit this thing with a mana burst? So that is definitely going to be our question. And we can do that, I think, with the hourglass. So for those of you who don't know what it is, H-O-U-R, hourglass, the Batania one. I haven't used it for a while, so hopefully I remember what it is here. So you place it down, and then I think you put sand in it. Did I put all of that in there? Kind of seems like it. So as you can see, it's slowly, very slowly, um, taken from the top and putting on the bottom. So you can kind of see that. At the end, when it's all done, what it does is it sends out, it, it will actually send out a signal. So if we do, I put too much sand in there, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and just grab some red stony stuff real quick. Put my sword away. Uh, we'll just set this up here. This is all testing. Don't need you anymore. Okay, so if we go grab some redstone stuff, for example, and maybe you, just kind of the standard stuff. So if we, oh, it's gonna go off any second now. We'll just do that. So what this will do is it'll send a redstone pulse and then it flips over. So, it sounds like with the redstone mana spreader, it will send a redstone pulse to the mana spreader and then the mana spreader will go ahead and send a mana pulse. So my question then would be, is the mana spreader, do we have to keep it filled up with mana? Which would kind of seem like we would. Hmm. So, oh, by the way, uh, just, I haven't had a chance to really do much in our world. Uh, it, I actually, today's 4th of July. Normally I record on Saturdays. However, we're going to be out of town on Saturday. We're going uh, camping up to Flaming Gorge, uh, which is a giant reservoir. We're going to go uh, check out the dam up there and go on the, the tour and stuff. Um, but, so I'm recording this quite early it's only Wednesday and uh, <clears throat> anyway so I haven't got a lot done uh, that's kind of why we're doing experimentation and figuring stuff out so we know that this part works we know that that part works what we need to do is figure out how to get this drum to be beat and also Oh, actually, I wanted to check one other thing. We, oops, I didn't want to break it. I wanted to clone it first. Drum. Which one was it? Drum of the Wild? What's the difference? What's the drum of gathering on this one? I don't know what canopy is either. So we went one, two, three. That puts it basically where this torch is. And that guy picked it up. So the question is, if I pound on this, will it get that very far pumpkin over there, right? So we got one, two, three. Actually, it goes there. One, two, three. Yes. So let's go ahead and hit it with our mana signal. Uh, what am I doing? Oops, I need to do this one. Actually, no, I didn't. So if we do this... 
How far did it get? Holy cow. Even the hopper got all the way over here. So I was thinking, originally I was thinking with that little hopper hook, hopper hawk, hopper hawk, uh, we would need to have several of them. But I mean, this guy's spanning all the way over to here. And the drum is clearly able to get it all the way over there. So if we can get this thing going and also if the mana spreader doesn't need to be filled with mana because that means we're going to lose automation at some point because if we have to fill it with mana that means oh there went our piston thank you oh whoops <laughs> we don't need you anymore so what does this guy do does this go off it does thump with i don't know which one are you canopy gathering seems like it would be something to like a pig got out bad pig must have glitched through the fence um so <clears throat> that's where we sit so in our in our world what i'll probably do is i'll dig at least maybe 20 down like a, a tunnel going straight underneath uh where we can set up a room to have all this stuff because like i said these things are just annoyingly loud um and i think i think if we can figure out this mana part will be good and even i think even having this is the 64 sand is going to be fine because these guys don't grow i mean even at tens they don't grow well maybe are these not tens that is oh because i cloned it I, I just uh, grabbed regular seeds. But these guys are all tens. And I mean, it seems like if we have a big enough field, we should be okay. I don't think we're going to really run out of, of this guy working. I guess it kind of goes through. I don't know. <sighs> so I'm going to keep on uh, experimenting with. Uh, I wonder if maybe the drum of the wild or uh, gathering will go off by this. But I don't know if this actually does anything. It's almost going to go off. Let's just check real quick. And maybe do some. I'm just curious. Does it like pick stuff up? And it says gathering. Oh. It went off and we didn't hear it or see it. So it definitely doesn't work off a man. Oh, let's try this though. Uh, throw, throw, throw. Well, the hopper hawk's picking it up. Stop it, hopper hawk. Definitely doesn't look like it's harvesting stuff. Well, that guy clearly does. <laughs> Okay, well, I think that's good for this episode. We're actually at almost 24 minutes. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And maybe uh, you learned some things. Maybe you, uh, maybe you have some things you can teach me. <laughs> that doesn't take much to have to teach me. Um, but like I said, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you, oh. So now we have another problem. <laughs> How much is it thrown? Man, that's thrown far. I'm catching it. That's quite a bit. So that might be another issue. I mean, we might have to have another hopper hawk just to pick up. Hey, better, better, better. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll have to figure out that. We're getting overspilled. Maybe there's something we can do that will do overflow. I don't know. Um, but all right. I already said thanks for watching, blah, blah, blah. Uh, leave a thumbs up down below. Aside from that, comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Check out my Discord and my other channels. And uh, don't forget about my great big giveaway. We hit uh, 1,000 subs. We're giving away 56 Steam games. And uh, 
I saw, I think my channel increased by three this week and then went down like two and then up by one. So even though it kind of goes up and down, up and down, it does seem to be climbing as, as more of the general thing. So that's definitely good. But like I said, um, that's it. Until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.